Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 28 on partial derivatives. In this lecture, we will discuss this question which is application of partial derivatives and this question was asked in GTU summer 2017 exam. The question is about finding the point on the plane 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 5 which is nearest to the origin. So first we understand what we are asked. Uh, we are asked to find out the point on the given plane which is having uh, which is nearest to the origin. Suppose I have this uh, three dimensional Cartesian coordinate system then this point is the origin having all the components zero and suppose our plane is somewhere like this in this space and uh, given that equation of plane is 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 5. So there are infinite number of points on this plane out of those infinite number of points we have to search for that point which is nearest to the origin that means we have to find out that point on this plane whose distance from origin is minimum. So we don't know which point on the plane will be having minimum distance from origin. So for that first we assume that let x, y, z be any point on the plane 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 5. So we have to search for those values of x, y, z for which distance between these two points is minimum. I repeat again we don't know which point on this plane is nearest to the origin but the point whose distance from origin is minimum that point will be the point closest to the origin. So we don't know which point will be nearest to the origin so for that we take arbitrary point on the plane and we find the distance between these two points this distance d is given by square root of x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square plus z minus 0 square so this is going to be square root of x square plus y square plus z square so we have to find out those values of x y z for which this distance is minimum and we have this constraint on x y z x y z must be on the plane that means x y z must satisfy this equation so this is the constraint given in the problem and we have to find out minimum value of this distance satisfying this constraint or we have to find out those value of x y z for which this distance is minimum now instead of considering square root function we will consider square of distance if d is given by this then d square will be equal to square of square root of x square plus y square plus z square so that is going to be x square plus y square plus z square so instead of minimizing d we will minimize d square and the values of x y z for which d square will be minimum those will be the values for which d is also minimum so we will consider this as function of x y z and we will try to find out values of x y z for which this f of x y z is minimum and this values of x y z must satisfy this constraint so we will consider function g as g x y z equal to 2x plus 3y minus z minus 5 and then we will solve this system gradient of f equal to lambda times gradient of g together with this equation and after solving that system we will obtain values of x y z for which our function is minimum so this is the idea of the method for this problem we should write all these things systematically so first we write that let x y z be any point on the plane 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 5 
and we give this number 1 we will use this equation also now the distance of this point x y z from origin that is 0 0 0 is d equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square now squaring on both sides we obtain that d square equal to x square plus y square plus z square so instead of considering this as a function f we will consider this as a function f and we will find out values of x y z for which d square is minimum and for those values d will also be minimum so we consider this as a function of x y z and we consider g x y z equal to 2x plus 3y minus z minus 5 that we choose using this constraint so we want to minimize function small f of x y z subject to the constraint given in 1 that is this one this is the equation which represents constraint of this problem now we are applying Lagrange method we solve the system of equations gradient of f equal to lambda times gradient of g together with equation 1 first we simplify this gradient of f equal to lambda times gradient of g using the definition of gradient gradient of f is given by this uh, vector del f by del x comma del f by del y comma del f by del z and gradient of g will be del g by del x comma del z by del y comma del g by del z and then we multiply each component by lambda and we obtain this now these two vectors are equal if their corresponding components are equal so this gives us fx equal to lambda times gx del f by del y equal to lambda times del g by del y and del f by del z equal to lambda times del g by del z so here we will require partial derivatives of f and g with respect to x y z so that we can easily calculate del f by del x will be 2x del f by del y is 2y del f by del z is 2z and del g by del x is 2 del g by del y is 3 and del z by del z is minus 1 so we substitute values of these derivatives in these equations and we obtain this 2x equal to 2 lambda 2y is 3 lambda 2z is minus lambda so from this we will obtain x equal to lambda from this we will obtain y equal to 3 lambda divided by 2 and from this we obtain z equal to minus lambda by 2 therefore we have obtained values of x y z in terms of lambda now we have not used equation number 1 so far so we substitute values of x y z in this equation so we put values of x y z in terms of lambda in equation 1 putting these values in equation 1 equation 1 is 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 5 so we substitute x equal to lambda y equal to 3 lambda by 2 and z equal to minus lambda by 2 and we simplify this this is 2 lambda here we will have 3 into 3 9 lambda by 2 negative negative positive lambda by 2 and this we can combine that is 10 lambda divided by 2 which is 5 here 2 will cancel out and we obtain 2 lambda plus 5 lambda equal to 5 that is 7 lambda equal to 5 and finally we obtain lambda equal to 5 by 7 and x y z are having their values in terms of lambda so we can now substitute lambda equal to 5 by 7 here and we will obtain the required point x is lambda so we will have x equal to 5 by 7 y is 3 lambda by 2 and lambda is 5 by 7 so value of y will be 15 by 14 z is minus lambda by 2 and lambda is 5 by 7 so that is going to be minus 5 by 14 so we obtain single value for this point x y z at which function is either maximum or minimum so x y z equal to 5 by 7 
15 by 14 minus pi by 14 this is the point on the plane which can be nearest to the origin now as in the previous cases in previous examples which we have discussed before this lecture uh, we had obtained more than one point so that we can decide that at which point function is maximum and at which point function is minimum but here we have obtained only one point so how we can decide or we can verify that this is the point at which our function is having minimum or maximum here our aim is to find out the points x y z for which this function x square plus y square plus z square or this uh, distance is minimum and we have obtained only one point so how we can say that at this point value of distance will be minimum so for that what we can do is we can select arbitrary point on the given plane we can find out values of x y z another set of x y z which satisfy this equation and we can find out value of d square at that point and if that value is bigger than this value value of function at this point then we are correct that we have obtained the point which is closest to the origin so for that first we find out value of function f or square of distance at this point so here we can see this uh, d square equal to x square plus y square plus z square this is nothing but d square so we find out square of distance at this point which we have obtained using Lagrange method so that is 5 by 7 15 by 14 minus 5 by 14 so I have obtained value of uh, distance square of distance at this point and uh, I have calculated this f of x y z is x square plus y square plus z square so I have taken square of all this this I have rewritten as 10 by 14 so that I can have LCM as 14 square so LCM is going to be square of 14 here we will have 10 square that plus 15 square plus square of minus 5 14 square is 196 and uh, 10 square 100 square of 15 is 225 square of 5 is 25 so I obtain 350 divided by 196 which is approximately 1.79 up to two decimal places value of square of distance at the point which we have obtained using Lagrange method is 1.79 now if we take any other point on this plane then square of distance at that point must be bigger than this one this is the square of distance between this point and origin and it is 1.79 so if square of distance at another point which is on the same plane is bigger than this point then we can say that this is the point nearest to the origin now how to select another point on this plane so for that uh, we can rewrite this plane as z equal to 2x plus 3y minus 5 and we can select arbitrary values of x and y and uh, z will be obtained using this suppose i take x equal to 1 y equal to 1 then you can see z will be 2 plus 3 minus 5 that is 0 so this 110 is the point on this plane so distance of this point from 0 0 must be bigger than this distance 1.79 so we select any point on the plane equation of plane we have written in this way if we take x equal to y equal to 1 z is 0 therefore x y z is on the plane which is given by 1 now we find out square of distance at this point the formula is x square plus y square plus z square which we have constructed 
so d square at this point is square of 1 plus square of 1 plus square of 0 that is 2 and we can see this is bigger than 1.79 so we can say that this point 5 by 7 15 by 14 minus 5 by 14 is having minimum distance or distance of this point from the origin is minimum uh, we have obtained uh, distance of uh, this point 110 from the origin and that distance is bigger than this distance 1.79 which is the distance between this point and origin. So similarly you can select another set of x, y, z you can take x equal to 1, y equal to 0 suppose I take x equal to 1, y equal to 0 I will obtain 1, 0, minus 3 and if I find out value of distance square at this point then that value also must be bigger than this value. So to confirm that this is the point for which distance is minimum uh, we should take at least one point on the given plane and we should find out the distance of that point from the origin and that distance must be bigger than this distance if our answer is correct. If the distance at any other point on the plane is not bigger than this then we should understand that we have made some mistake in finding this problem. So in this way if we have only one point then also we can decide whether that point is for maximum or minimum. And here our question was to find out the point on the plane which is nearest to the origin so the answer to this is the point 5 by 7 15 by 14 minus 5 by 14 is the point on the plane which is nearest to the origin and this is the verification by selecting one point on the plane so they can ask this type of question sometimes so this is all about this type of problems. In next lecture we will discuss some another variety of problems on this method. So I hope you like this lecture. Thank you.